Hi, it's Catherine from Cascade, and I'm excited today to talk a little bit about a new product that we have um, from Radley's. It's the Reactor Ready Pilot from Radley's. They're a very uh, well-known company in the pharmaceutical industry um, out of the UK. Um, this glass is um, really quality glass, highly engineered. Uh, they receive all of this borosilicate from Schott Duran, which uh, if you know anything about borosilicate, Schott Duran is a German manufacturer of borosilicate that gives the rods to manufacturers like this. Over a third of the raw material that they get, which is already the highest grade arguably in the world, is rejected for manufacture. And uh, then this vessel is... Uh, blown very carefully at every step in the process along the way. The goal is to have a completely smooth, ripple-free, strong reactor that's five millimeters thick all the way through the whole thing. What's wonderful here is that as you look through it and as you walk through a trade show or somewhere like that, you look at glass and you can often see wavy lines or distortion. You just don't see any of that here. And that's an indicator of the quality manufacturing. The individuals who, who uh, blow this glass and, and work with this reactor have been in an apprenticeship program for seven years and have developed some of the most technical uh, pharmaceutical glass for processing. And so that's why, through our friends at Heidolf, we've partnered with Radley's. Although this is a fairly standard jacketed reactor, we've done a number of things to customize it for our customers. Um, first of all, let's talk about what, what Radley's does. Really, the advantage of this whole system has a lot to do with this rack and the positioning. So um, a huge feature of the Reactor Ready from Radley's is going to be the idea that you can do a, a pretty quick change. These, uh, this aluminum rack that has um, a built-in level it was really easy to put together. We put it together here in the showroom, and even for those of us who hadn't done it before, it was very straightforward. Uh, very sturdy, mobile rack. Uh, what, one of the great things about this are these hoses. So uh, this is something that uh, Mike Bishop told me to do this, and I hope it's okay. Oh, I hate doing that. Metal-tipped hoses. Um, are terrible. They're swinging around all over the place. You're changing out your reactor and uh, so easy to break something. So these are peak um, and again this high quality glass. What's wonderful about this is that here is the here's the fill port for your heating or chilling fluid. Here's the empty. When I'm ready to swap out this flask I can go ahead and use the stand to hold my uh, thermal transfer fluid tubes out of the way. What this means is that once I've emptied my fluid back into the reservoir on my chiller, now I'm able to move this reactor out, I can process it somewhere else, move another reactor in, and then get going again, right? Um, this is super convenient. It means tubes aren't hanging around, we're not slopping uh, thermal transfer fluid onto the floor, and it's just a very tidy, very elegant solution. One of the things that uh, Cascade has done in partnering with Radley's is to customize this uh, reactor head, the lid here that's sitting right here, to customize that for our application. Of course, we have always our Heidolf stirrer here. This coupling is fantastic. I'm gonna turn this off for a minute just to, just to show you how this uh, coupling works. First of all, on this stand, we've got two stops. So um, I can go ahead and I can loosen this up so that I can lift up the stirrer and I know but it's going to be hard because, Aiden, can you come help me? Everybody say hi to Aiden. Can you help me loosen this? Okay. 
And we're gonna lift the stir up. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one of these, just one, I'm gonna leave that one there. So I remember my position, because that's the perfect position, thank you. Um, I'm gonna take one of these and I'm gonna hold this up. What you'll see here is on the stirrer, rather than having a shaft that goes all the way from the stirrer through the vacuum coupling to connect to the propeller in there, what we have is this little fitting with these teeth, and these teeth fit in really well um, <clears throat> with these little uh, prongs that are on this piece here, and that's what's going to stir this. So rather than have a, the actual propeller or impeller going up and down every time you move the stirrer, potentially dropping that, crashing through the glass, it's connected in this very elegant way. And easily, I can put this back down here, match it up with the other one, bring these back down, just that easily. Bring these right back down, and now the stirrer is engaged. So what you're not gonna get, thank you Aiden, what you're not going to get here is a weird little PTFE cuffy um, that's sending uh, plastic shavings into your reactor because it's constantly wearing out all the time. So this coupling is really part of the magic of this reactor. Another thing that we've done is gone ahead and put a vacuum port on here. So you're gonna be able to put your vacuum pump on here, draw a little vacuum, devolatilize, off gas. We've got plenty of room for potentially an accessory reflux condenser or something like that. We've got a temperature probe here that's going to be in your oil. So we're gonna be um, managing the temperature. This could connect right to one of our Huber circulator, circulating heaters. Um, connect that to the Huber. We're gonna control from the actual temperature of the oil, which is excellent. And here's another great feature. And one of the things I wanna talk about is how these fittings work. So these Rotovis fittings, help you remove them. So in this application, we have a lot of opportunity to have sticky, sticky oil holding this glass together. And the last thing that you wanna do is wrench on that. So when we loosen these fittings and we're undoing them, we're gonna undo them all the way. Even though that's loose right now, it's undone and I could pull that off. Instead, I'm gonna keep twisting it and it pops off. So again, when this is all the way seated, just hand tight, don't need to crank it down really hard. I wanna go ahead and do this slowly enough that hopefully you can see that at some point, right about here, it pops off. And that is just pushing off the fitting. You should be able to do anything with these fittings, you should be able to do with just two fingers. You don't need to grab your whole fist and grab this and herk it around. We're just gonna do a simple untwisting until we get all the way up the threads and it pushes the top off. This standard little bubbler top is going to come with it, but what we've done is we've noticed that a lot of our customers take a metal funnel, put it in here, which is going to chip the edge and ruin that seal, or they have a funnel that just doesn't fit properly and it's wonka-doodle and it's going to fall out and make a mess. So we have this funnel. If I were using it, I would go ahead and I would attach it. Even though I'm not trying to maintain any vacuum integrity, I would attach it just so that it would be stable. I would pour my product in and then again, watch for that little pop right there. Did you see it? So this is connected. And then here, pop. Just pop right off using the fitting itself. and then we have that and we can place that over here. So the major benefits of um, this reactor are going to be that quick change ability by setting the hoses onto the rack, not having anything drip on the floor. We've got attachment to our vacuum pump right here in thermocouple inside the oil. Excellent connection from the stirrer without any shavings in there. Nice drain at the bottom so that um, you could go ahead and move this onto a vessel and let it drain while you come in and put another reactor right here and keep the process going. We've got these in stock and ready to ship. 
If you'd like any more information, check out our website at CascadeSciences.com or give us a call.